The incident of coronavirus is a pain that the whole world is experiencing at the same time. That is why we can say this is the exact and clear starting point of the birth pains. Because this is a global incident, it is the biggest sign that lets us know the time of Jesus is coming and is also the sign that the rapture will soon take place. The level of the birth pain that started through coronavirus at the end of 2019 has gradually become stronger and now it's not only the social distancing or masks, but the inoculation of the vaccine has expanded. Also, as time passes, coronavirus test results and vaccine passports are being required for foreign traveling and the situation is going towards not being able to work if you don't take the vaccine. Already, the people who work in the medical field and big companies are faced with the choice of having to either quit or get the vaccine. This situation will soon come upon all workers in every field and businesses. We are in the times where we cannot do anything if we do not get the vaccine and cannot buy or sell. These circumstances right now are not happening in just one country, but is happening simultaneously around the whole world. To reiterate again, the whole earth is experiencing the same pain. Therefore, we need to clearly know that this is an exact birth pain. That way, we can discern the times and not miss the time of Jesus' coming. However, why must we go through these kinds of birth pains? Shortly, many people will lose their jobs, but why is Jesus not coming faster? Also, forced vaccination laws are being made, and in the near future, even laws that declare you as a criminal if you don't get the vaccine is being made. But why is Jesus delaying his coming? He's coming anyways. If he comes faster, people will not get tempted to get the vaccine and will probably get raptured. But why must he allow this difficult time to pass? As we see the rapidly moving world, these questions are our present state and desperate voice of longing and waiting for Jesus to come faster. However, because it is exactly this desperate state and voice that we must have in order to be raptured, birth pains are needed. Humans become relaxed when it is a little peaceful and the circumstances become better. Being relaxed means that even though we diligently prepare to meet the Lord, if the atmosphere is as if He is not coming any faster, we become like the five virgins who did not prepare their oil, becoming drowsy or falling asleep again. If right now was the time of the Great Tribulation, who would be able to doze off or sleep peacefully? Because that time has no such thing as peace and is a time of persecution and darkness, even if we were told to not wake up, it will be a time where we would automatically have to be awakened. Jesus has told us to be awake always through prayer so that we can avoid the coming tribulation. He said to be awakened because we live in a generation where it is peaceful and hard to awaken. Although the birth pains are becoming stronger, it is still a time where there's peace and safety. So that is why it is easy to become relaxed again. As many people see the rapidly moving world, for a moment they suddenly awake, but right away go back to their past state as long as it's not a death situation. Returning back to the addiction of media, internet, games, and hobbies. And again, the first priority becomes not God, but returning to money and the world, getting attached to the world again. If we become like that, we will surely fall asleep again, only to miss the rapture. Because God knows well how weak we are, He is shaking us and waking us up every moment through these birth pains. When we are about to doze off to sleep again, God helps maintain our awakened state by allowing us to see and feel gradually greater pains. If there are no birth pains, then probably there will not be many people who get raptured. Yes, that is so. God is not slow to come. Because God knows who will be raptured, He is waiting until that one last soul is prepared through the birth pains. This is the reason why there are birth pains, and this is the last grace period that God has allowed for us. Also, remember that this is still a time of peace and safety, and please do not compromise with the 666 no matter what difficult situation comes. Jesus is coming very soon.